Ithaca. It's my first day and I'm so excited to be here. It's so hot, but I love it and everybody's so friendly. So yeah, we're gonna go to the beach now, hang out with some people, talk to the people here. Stay tuned. Just a few kilometers off the mainland of Guinea lies the beautiful island of Rome. This stunning place is said to have inspired the novel Treasure Island, which makes total sense if you ask me. I mean, just look at this island. If this isn't treasure, I don't know what is. Waves of the Atlantic Ocean, kids playing around, stunning beaches, amazing temperatures, delicious food, and wonderful people. Can't really get better than this. I cannot believe how beautiful this island is. Seriously, it's so, so pretty. I really think I'm just gonna stay here. Seriously, I cannot get enough. Wave after wave, slowly drifting. Okay, I'm gonna stop and let you enjoy. <laughs> clean and almost completely see-through. Okay, this boat said, welcome. I wonder if I'm welcome forever and what I need to do in order to get adopted here. It's a beautiful day in Konakiri today. We're on a boat. As you can see, the water is beautiful. The weather is so nice. We're gonna take this water boat now <laughs> to an island. With? With my sister. That's right. Um, so yeah, we're excited to be on this boat. Hopefully we'll be able to stay on this boat because you know how it goes. Sometimes people go a little bit crazy and people fall off the boat, but hopefully that won't happen. But if it does, we all know how to swim and it's really hot and it's really beautiful. So either way, I'm sure we'll have fun. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> so time to explore some other beautiful places here in Guinea. There are so many stunning areas on this African West Coast and they are so peaceful, safe and simply stunning. Quite the opposite of the Africa they usually show you on TV, huh? And what would Africa be without some really good and nice music? <laughs> Welcome to Conakry, the capital and biggest city of Guinea. Approximately 1.6 million people live in the city and more than 10 million in the whole country. Conakry is located on the Atlantic Ocean and it serves as the economic, financial and cultural center of Guinea. And what would African culture be without some delicious food? We are at a market in the middle of Konakri and as you can tell over here people are cooking. We are going to get some food here ourselves, just some rice with some vegetables and fish. But you can really get everything here. People are selling food, clothes, and stuff for the house, a lot of fabric that you can make your own dresses with. So it's a really exciting place and everybody's really friendly. Traditional cuisine of Guinea includes fufu, fried bananas, boiled mangoes, pumpkin pie, sesame cookies, smoked fish, and a lot of other vegetable, fish, and chicken dishes. And also, if you haven't tried an African mango or pineapple, I think you haven't tasted a mango or a pineapple. They taste so much better here. So please excuse me while I eat everything and shop around at this market. <laughs> From five-star cooking to five-star hotels, this country is as versatile, multicultural, and breathtaking as the continent it's located in. 
allowing you to constantly open your mind, eyes, heart and arms to everything and everyone around you. Tropical vibes, poolside and ocean views, friendly and open and interesting people and beauty all around make West Africa and Guinea a unique and gorgeous place to be. And of course, sunshine and smiles are guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> the Republic of Guinea is mostly an Islamic country, with Muslims representing 85% of the population. Muslims and other religious people, such as Christians, live peacefully together here. French is the official language of Guinea, and the main language spoken in schools, government, and the media. However, the country has more than 24 other indigenous languages. The country's economy depends largely on agriculture and mineral production, and it is the world's second largest producer of bauxite. Guinea is also very rich in diamonds and gold. The country was at the core of the 2014 Ebola outbreak. Thousands of people died of the disease in Guinea alone. Since then, the disease has been contained, thankfully, and it's safe to travel here and I definitely recommend it. And here is one really, really sweet reason to travel to Guinea. We're in a small city in Guinea right now. We got stranded again because our car is not working, but it's all for the good because we're hanging out with really nice people and really nice babies. Binta, say hello. <laughs> Africa is the richest continent in the world in terms of diamonds, gold, oil, and so on. But it is also rich in potential, beauty, culture, and kindness. And I hope and pray that Guinea and the whole African continent will soon be completely freed from its oppressors and able to rise up to its fullest potential. In the meantime, I urge you to experience this unique and beautiful place yourself and of course, its amazing people. Uh, <laughs> See you later! Bye-bye! my next video thank you so much for watching i had such a great time here and i'm so thankful to have experienced it